welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to talk about the life and the works of Saint Louise de Marillac in my brand new video. Subscribe to this channel so don't miss off my brand new videos and new content below. And you can check out my last year's video of Saint Vincent de Paul in the description box below and description link below. Saint Louise de Marillac Co-founder with St. Vincent de Paul of the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul, a congregation of lay women dedicated to teaching and hospital work. Hospital work. Her feast day is on March 15th. March 15th is her feast day when she died. Born on August 12th, 1591 in Paris, France. Louise was a member of the powerful de Marillac family and was well educated. Poor health prevented her from, from joining the strict order from, of poor clerks and, and in 1613 she married Antony Legras, secretary to Queen Marie de Medicis of France, by whom she had a son by whom she had a son, Michael. Widowed in 1625, she had already chosen Vincent de Paul. She had already chosen Vincent de Paul as her spiritual guide, and he encouraged her to undertake charitable works. She trained girls in the spiritual life and taught them to assist in visiting, feeding, and nursing the needy. In 1633, Vincent de Paul founded the Daughters of Charity with Louise as their superior because they were neither enclosed or, I mean, nor called nuns. Their concept pioneered in bringing women into religious service outside the cloister. Indeed, the congregation was the first non-cloistered religious institute of women, women devoted to active charitable works. She died on March 15th. 1660, at the age of only 68 years, she was beatified by Pope Benedict XV in 1920. She was canonized on March 11th. She was canonized on March 11th, 1934, by Pope Pius XI. I hope you everyone. I'll be see you in my brand new video. Bye bye, y'all.